Nicole, you are my best friend, my partner in crime, my cheerleader, my rock in times of turmoil, and most importantly, you are the only person on this earth that I would like to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, great. <laughs> Colton, Kevin, Cundy. First off, happy birthday. <laughs> As I was sitting down to write my vows, I started thinking about all the things I've learned over these last 11 years, including how you make me feel when I'm with you and the level of extraordinary you are. I literally ran out of ink and had to get a new pen. <laughs> During our past 11 years together, I've never had a reason to doubt how much you genuinely care about me. Whether it's texting me just to ask how my day is going, or putting my car keys in the fridge because I keep forgetting to take my lunch to work. I have learned so much from you. Thank you for teaching me how to be more patient, how to be a better listener, and how to, be, and how to better communicate my thoughts and feelings. Uh, many of these I suspect I will continue to learn more about as the years go by. In 2012, you came into my life when I least expected it. You captivated me with your kind, generous heart, the respect you showed me, and how you made me feel noticed and enjoyed just the way I am. As I reflect on that particular day, my day of realization, you can call it, I realized that if you had stood by me through one of the hardest losses of my life, we can make it through anything. I can confidently say we did just that. You truly are the most loving, beautiful, caring, bubbly little package of a perfect woman that I could ever ask for. To quote a song that we've both been listening to recently, I still don't know where I'm going, but I know that I want you to go there with me. This is saying that it's impossible to plan your whole life out, but if we can put complete faith in one another and face adver adversity hand in hand, there's nothing that can stop us. I love you very much, <laughs> and I know I'll say it with even more assuredness on our final date, which I hope will be a very long, full lifetime from now. I love you. I love you too. Before God and these witnesses, having witnessed your vows of love and commitment to each other, I, Stephen Cudney, by virtue of the powers vested in me by the province of Ontario, do hereby pronounce you, Colton and Nicole, to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> The sun will rise long after I've given love Everybody that has met Colton and Nicole knew that this wedding was going to happen. Some people may have known a little sooner than others, 
looking at you, Colton. From the very first day, it was clear that Colton and Nicole were in love. With Nicole's extroverted, honest character and Colton's introverted, comedic nature, I am sure that there is nothing that the two of you will not be able to do together. Nicole, you deserve everything the world has to offer and so much more. Things have not been easy, uh, but you're one of the strongest, most compassionate people that I know. I can remember like yesterday when Nicole called me and said she met a boy. A lot has happened in those 11 years, but Colton, you have stood by Nicole's side through it all and continued to hold her heart close to yours since the day that you met. Today my daughter is the luckiest girl in the whole wide world because she has found a loving partner and a wonderful family. I am so proud of the young woman you have become. You are so caring and loving. You always made us proud in everything you do. You look so beautiful in your wedding gown. Today you are a real princess. Your dad would be so proud and happy for his little girl. I'm here to say a few words on behalf of a special man that couldn't be here tonight. That would be our father. After procrastinating for weeks, trying to figure out what he would have said, it finally came to me that there's absolutely no way to know what that guy would have said tonight. <laughs> but if I were to give it a shot, I'd like to think he would have said that he's proud of you, man. Proud of the great man that he raised you to be. Nicole, you have always been there for me, and I can never be any more honored to have you as my big sis, or little sis. If you mean. I love you lots, Colton. You are the brother I never had, and I am honored to be celebrating this special milestone with the both of you. <laughs> 